Yo, what is up, bros? I'm back with some strategic mind blitzkrieg after that massive battle of Moscow mission. I needed a break. Okay, so there is what we took with the whole Moscow mission, it looks like. We are going now for a second battle of Kharkov. Um, let's go ahead and hear what Roma has to say. The Soviet people continue to surprise me. Their courage and tenacity are only matched by their dimwittedness and naivety. <laughs> a tenth of the USSR's totally. natural resources could make for the world's strongest economy in a matter of years. Instead, the Soviet leadership treats its citizens no better than cattle. And now the cattle are being sent to slaughter. Mm-hmm. Guderian, what do you got? Strange as it sounds, I welcome this defensive mission for the sheer variety it brings to the routine of the Blitzkrieg. I like our odds. The captured cities are well fortified, and the landscape is surprisingly even. The time is right to deploy our tank corps and show those Russians the full superiority of a professional military over a horde of conscripts. Mm -hmm. The Soviet Union is incredibly resilient. Losing vast strategically important territories, including their capital, they keep fighting with the same tenacity. I agree. If their leadership was smarter about their resources, we would be in dire straits. Fortunately, they keep trying to overwhelm us, which gives us an opportunity. If we manage to spring our trap, the Soviets will lose a half a million troops, surely a loss that even they won't be able to ignore. Ooh, all right, let's see it. Let's go. Oh shit, here's here's her I can no going. longer understand the actions of our Fuhrer. He is making all his decisions without counseling with his most trusted advisors. Sowing discontent. Unfortunately, Herr Goering, the Fuhrer wants all of his entourage to follow him blindly and abide by his every word. He does not tolerate any other points of view. Because of our military commander's strategic genius, we are gaining victory after victory. Yet Hitler is still angry at us. Sooner or later, he risks losing the support of even the most loyal men. Mm -hmm. It can cost us a victory in this war. Such is his character. He's too harsh sometimes. I try to avoid taking his remarks personally. Nonetheless, his words are very unjustified at times. I would not have acted like that if I were in his position. Uh, I've... Alder. Alder's catching on, I think. I take it you are aware of my status as the most likely of the Fuhrer's successors. Uh... Well, it is only logical. You're his second in command. Should anything happen to the Fuhrer, I will have to lead our country. Uh... I'm sure in such a case I would be able to avoid many of his mistakes. Hergering, why did you start this conversation? Do you have any information about a threat to the Fuhrer's life? We're waging war, Halder. We have to provide for all possible risks. Our beloved Fuhrer is the number one target for our numerous enemies. He's permanently in grave peril. He's kind of... The death of the Fuhrer would be a huge blow for the Reich. I dread to imagine that tragedy. He was kind of feeling him out a little bit. Despite the crushing defeat of the Red Army at Moscow, it did not bring about the full collapse of the Soviet Union. Stalin and his clique keep giving criminal orders from their evacuated Stavka. Halda, give me a status report. The Red Army started an offensive at Kharkiv, hoping to establish a bridgehead. It is your personal failure, Halda. You and all of your officers are useless idiots. <laughs> you all have sabotaged my ingenious Blitzkrieg plan. <laughs> my Fuhrer, with all due respect, you cannot throw these accusations at us without solid proof. Gehring, you should not defend them. If only you had followed my orders to the letter, the war would already have been over. Instead, you cannot handle these pathetic Russian troops. You seem to be too impotent to finish them off once and for all. I order the army to start a counter-offensive. This is your last chance to exonerate yourselves. If Kharkov will fall, 
you will all be court-martialed. The Soviets have launched a counteroffensive at Kharkov. Unexpected, to be sure. But I do hope nobody in this room thought the war would be over with the capture of Moscow. Our forces at Kharkov are limited, but they will be enough to give the Russians an unpleasant surprise. I am honestly more worried about the Fuhrer. What is he thinking? In merely two years, we served him all of Europe on a plate, and yet he treats us like hapless lackeys. His treatment of us is unfortunate, though ultimately a minor problem. I'm more worried about his orders concerning the prisoners of war and the civilians on the captured territories. We are talking actual war crimes, which continue even as we speak. I try to prevent such things wherever I can, but I feel that I will not be allowed to proceed with it for too much longer. Heinz, Irvin... I understand your feelings all too well, and believe me, I empathize. However, right now, Germany is on the very thin ice. The USSR is weakened, but far from broken. The British remnant continues to resist, and the USA hasn't even properly entered the fight. One misstep, and the Reich comes crashing down and buries us under it in the process. This is no time for internal strife. You are correct, of course. We need to stand united. After we have secured the victory, we will return to this conversation. This thousand-year hike won't last long with the deluded self-aggrandizing maniac at its head. Let us return to more pressing matters. We have a Soviet offensive to deal with, and on multiple approaches, no less. Their main objectives are Kharkov, Belgorod, and Krasnograd. These cities must be held at all costs, especially Kharkov. The Fuhrer is adamant about keeping it. The front line near Krasnograd is held by Romanian divisions. Oh, great. These are solid troops, but they are too few to repel a strong Russian offensive. I recommend sending more troops to reinforce their positions. Indeed, we should support our allies. If the Soviets cut off our supply lines in our rear, the defense of Kharkov will end before it begins. Our main objective is to flank the Soviet advance and cut them off from their main forces. To that end, we must capture Barvenkovo, Izu, and Balakleya. A devastating trap, potentially, but that's if things go according to plan. They rarely ever do. I'll put my, put my best men on it. Okay, so let's check this out. So those are the spots we need to take. Yeah, we got some troops down here. I'm thinking about maybe putting... That is Kharkov. I'm thinking about putting my best troops down here to take these three cities quick. I'm talking both uh, tank heroes. All right, the troops are deployed. We went heavy defense around uh, Belgorod and Kharkov. And then, you know, I hope they don't decide to break through here. We went light here. We went, helped out the Romanian bros a little bit, put a few troops down here. And this is the A-team. Both tank aces are right in here because these are the three points that we need to take for this. Encircle the Soviet troops. All right, so um, let's do a little bit of recon here. See exactly what we're dealing with. All right, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. What, are you, what do you guys got down here? You got any? Holy shit. Damn, that's quite a few troops right there. Oh my god. Oh, the poor... The poor Romanian bros. I had no idea, guys. I I don't know if they're going to make it. How could I have known that that massive of force would have been there? Let's go ahead and get started down here with the A team. Who we got here? We got Curdy Boy. We should. Let's have the big KV. Yeah. I was going to say that the KV should be able to soak up that artillery and not do any damage to it. All right, the city is cleared. God, you know what? If we would have had our two 
tank aces up where they put all that shit. Talk about a godforsaken bloodbath. Holy shit. All right, let's um, get moved up here. All right, our other tank ace. Oh, OK. And no line. <laughs> the, there's a railway right there. How can I not see that guy? Like, how do I not see him? There's a, literally a railway right by me. All right, well, we did. Oh, here we go. We'll just finish him off with the uh, artillery. Yeah, full clear, full on clear. I mean, I don't think that could have went any better than it did. We got a few bros down here that we're given. Crapper unit back up. Okay, so. I think we just hold there. I don't really know what to do here. There's just too many troops right there. Maybe kind of set up a defense until we know exactly what they're going to do. Something like that. Now for this, I have no idea what to do. I mean, I only brought one of my good tanks down here. The rest are the Romanian tanks. I mean, in hindsight, probably not the best idea I've ever had. I mean, I might have I might have been able to uh, plan a little bit better here. I don't want to go too far out, though. I mean, we definitely don't want to extend too far out. I think we'll get utterly shit on if we do. Maybe just hold back here right in front of this city. I think we go out too far, we get shit on, and I'm not about to get shit on. You got the big train here. Defend the train at all cost. He's won us many wars. Okay, so our main force. Which I don't know necessarily if it should have been our main force. Well, obviously now I think the main force should have been with the Romanians. Unless, I mean, there could be a big, there could be a couple waves up here, maybe. You know, maybe that's what we're missing out. There could actually be a couple waves that could have came in on us. I'm going to damage that. Nice. Can anybody... Anybody not take any damage and hit it? I don't think so. They only got one KV up on the front, so taking that out is a win. Taking that out is a definite win. They're packed in so tight they can't even retreat. Oh, so far. So far, that's that's way better than I was thinking it was going to uh, play out this first round. Okay, we need oh, Let's go and take this out. We gotta. I want to take out as much as I possibly can, but at the same time, 
don't think we can necessarily overextend. Overextending could be the death of us. There we go. This is a heavy tank. We can be a little bit more reckless with the heavy tank, I think. Damn. Damn. You'd think this guy was a hero over here. I think this guy was a tank ace. Bro's going off. I don't like that damage exchange. Ooh, there we go. In fact... Yeah, I get shit on. My, my boys did well here. Way better than I was thinking. Talk about a godforsaken bloodbath. It was... It was the Soviet troops that thought they were gonna... Thought they were going to retake Kharkov. It's not gonna happen. I mean, their entire... Their entire tank force is gone. Yeah, their entire tank force is already gone. I'm sure that's not how they drew it up. General, one more Russian army division advances toward Balchansk. They are most likely tasked with capturing Kharkov. Oh, we'll let them come. I don't even know if they're going to want to come after they get word of what about what just happened down here. Like, how did the first wave do? Uh, nobody survived. Yeah, I'd be like, I don't, I'm, I'm feeling sick. I gotta take shit. Oh, damn. I've never seen, I don't think I have seen an ass kicking. This bad. Ever. All right, that's going to be a wrap. May 12th, 1942. I'd be lying if I said I, I wasn't a little bit concerned with how the Romanians are going to hold up against that. You know what, actually? Because it's such a huge army and I never show this. What happens in between rounds, I think. And most of you probably have never played this and never even seen what happens in between rounds. You're about to see, and it's probably going to be a long-ass round, too. Alright, it looks like they're going to start with some aerial attack. This is going to be bad, probably. Hold on a sec. Those troops might be... Those troops might be moving to where the A-team is. Knowing that they just got out, their ass is absolutely kicked. They might be trying to fill that back in. <laughs> Damn, look at all the artillery they got. Look at all the AA they have. Jesus, that's going to take a while to get through. Yeah, see, I tried to put my fighters above my artillery so they wouldn't get bombed. And they're still in range of their AA. I didn't even move them up but one tile. Ah, look, I see a Soviet Sherman. Is that the first Soviet Sherman we've seen? It might be. Of course, they... 
Brogo's end attack, my uh, artillery is definitely wrecked. Now my air defense down there is going to get overwhelmed. I got the two 88s I brought. Remember, those aren't the Goring 88s that could one-shot aircraft. These are my crappy 88s. And then I was given one. Crapper unit to start with. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen a bomb infrastructure like that. That's weird. Yeah, they're going to start bombing my whatever artillery I didn't cover. They're going to bomb. Weak. And they got another armored train down here for the A team. I wasn't expecting that, obviously, or I probably wouldn't have pulled up my artillery so far. Ah, oh, shit, they're bringing in troops. I gotta get some of my good units over there. Yeah, we just don't got enough anti-air down there. Nice. I'm gonna say this. They they didn't nail the Katusha sound at all. That Katusha sound is probably one of the weaker Katusha sounds that I have heard in a game that had Katusha's firing. So weak. Doesn't sound anything like it. If nothing else, just grab the sound off of YouTube and slap it in there. They're going to break through those defenses. I don't have really anything above there except for infantry. Listen to that. That is the weakest Katusha sound I've ever heard. No, where's the screaming? With all that, with all the artillery they got, they could probably take out all five of those forts right there. Yeah, they're going to bust through. Well, I, I mean, that's good for us, though, especially on that first round. And we're not taking a bunch of damage. They're attacking the forts. The forts were the crapper meat shield. But they're only going to crapper meat shield us for one round, it looks like, because there's not going to be any left. Jesus. In case you're wondering, I think this already, and I don't know how much longer it's going to last, but it is probably already the longest uh well, well, i don't even know what you'd call that ai turn and uh, they're probably uh, yeah keep attacking that as long as you're not firing on my units all right well there goes another one God, we need to get through to get to that. And another one falls. We need to get through to that. That the uh, the artillery is pretty much open. They moved all their heavy tanks to the north to attack those forts. Look at that. 
Like their KVs are all to the north. Look at that open spot right through the middle that we could use to get to their artillery. Yeah, get shit on. Damn, that that bro gonna even gonna make it? Holy shit, this turn. Our advanced troops Damn. report that the unit of Vasily Petrov, a renowned Soviet tank destroyer, was spotted near Krasnogorsk. He did a lot of damage to our armored troops during the Battle of Kiev. In this case, make sure he's left at Krasnogorsk forever, Monstein. <laughs> yeah, Monstein, exactly where we're we looking at. Where's Krasnogorsk? To our front lines. Pretty damn close to crash Nagor. All right, bro. So with that long ass intro and the big goring overthrowing plot and then the massive 30 minute Soviet turn, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and wrap this up. Bros, if you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap a like, subscribe with the notification bell and I will be back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati out.